What's up guys, I got the request to do the best smartphones for 150 bucks and under. So these are going to be uh, mostly unlocked smartphones. Uh, so for all my people that really don't want to spend any money on a phone, uh, these are some of the best options for you. So first is the Redmi 9. This is the my favorite phone on the list. I think it's just awesome for the price point. If you haven't seen my video on it, please check it out. You have a plastic bag. It's got a plastic design, but it has a textured bag. It feels uh, really good. It doesn't feel super cheap it has a pretty nice weight to it as well you have a 6.53 inch IPS display it is uh, 395 for the PPI full 1080p a lot of phones at the like hundred and thirty dollar hundred twenty dollar price point are gonna have 720p displays and then they're not gonna be a uh, high quality this one was very very good you got the water drop notch I had no issues uh, with the display on here uh, you also have Android 10 right out of the box with MIUI 11, the Helio G80, and Mali G52. Majority of these phones won't be able to do high gaming, of course, because of, you know, the price you're paying. But uh, you will be able to do casual gaming. I found playing just your normal casual games to be fine. You can think of it as a low to mid tier uh, gaming on here. So again, you're not going to be maxing stuff out, but you will be able to play games on here. Uh, you do have micro SD support, 32 gigs of internal storage, and 3 gigs of RAM. You also have the headphone jack uh, NFC on here as well as a infrared port which is really nice so you can use it as a remote controller if you desire to. Uh, you also have really great cameras. I think the best cameras on uh, this list. A 13 megapixel wide, 8 megapixel ultra wide, 5 megapixel macro and 2 megapixel depth sensor. You only get 1080p video and a 8 megapixel selfie camera. So I was really pleased with the detail dynamic range. I thought color science was pretty good. You get some nice punchy colors. And uh, for this price point, man, it does such a great uh, job. I just really had no complaints uh, with the photos it was taking. I thought it took some very solid photos. The macro camera was actually really good. You get good detail with the depth sensor. So I was really pleased uh, with that. You also have a fingerprint scanner, a physical one on the back that's very fast. I had no issue with that. And you also have face unlock on this phone. You also get a massive 5,020 milliamp battery with 18 watt fast charging. Uh, basically, this is a phone that can last you easily two days, uh, no problem. So if you're looking for a phone that's really good on battery life, this is going to be a really great option. Next is the Galaxy A24 130 as well. And again, links will be down below. Uh, this is an awesome phone. It was one of my favorite phones of last year. And uh, I actually think this one is still better than the A21 and the A20. 21s so that's how much i love this phone i still have mine uh, so you have a plastic design on here again nothing flashy i definitely feel super solid in the hand so i have no issues uh with it now what made this phone really awesome is for this price you get a super amoled display that is a 720p display 268 for the ppi but you get some very punchy colors you have the water drop notch it has some pretty thin bezels for you know it's time and uh, yeah i just really like the display on here it was very color accurate and again punchy i just really really liked it uh, so you do have uh android 9 out of the box with one ui but uh, this should have gotten the android 10 update uh, so if you have an unlocked version i'm not sure about the lock carriers uh, if they got the update yet but it is uh, capable of running android 10. Uh, so you do have the xenos 7884 and molly g71 basically this is like a medium tier chip you can actually do some uh, pretty solid gaming on here if you want to check my videos out i did on it uh, be sure to do that and uh, you also have micro sd support 32 gigs of storage and 3 gigs of ram on this guy as well as a headphone jack uh, nfc is on board for mobile payments and you also have that fingerprint scanner on the back which is very fast it's a physical one no issues with it at all so the cameras on here are actually pretty impressive you have a 13 megapixel standard and a 5 megapixel ultra wide you only get 1080p video though with an 8 megapixel selfie basically you get some really nice photos on here uh color accuracy is you know the classic samsung punchy colors detail is definitely there dynamic range all that stuff is there and you get some really nice photos especially if you're in some good lighting so i was really pleased with the photos that this phone was taking the front facing camera was also uh, pretty good as well so uh, for this price point right now this is still a really great option to think about picking up you also have a 4000 milliamp 
battery with 15 watt fast charging um the phone lasts pretty much all day i never had issues with that it's just it's just that it uh charges a little bit slow uh so 15 watts you definitely notice that from like an 18 watt and up uh, but overall no complaints this is still a great smartphone next is the lg g7 now i would recommend you get this on ebay if you really want to get it uh, at the 150 dollars and below price point but if you want to go the safer route uh, they do have it on amazon for like 170 um, so that's where i got mines but definitely you can find it really cheap on ebay the unlocked version and uh, yeah this is the most powerful phone and one of the best phones on the list again if you want to go that route uh, but you do have an aluminum frame on here it's a glass bag uh, i mean just a really nice design it feels super solid in the hand i absolutely love it this phone has an ip rating ip68 so you can get it wet it won't break immediately you also have an ips display it's a 6.1 inch display full 1440p display 564 for the ppi uh, just a beautiful super sharp display is one of the things that you're just going to love about this phone it is upgradable to android 10 which is really awesome this phone on the list is going to be the only phone that can do high gaming with the snapdragon 845 and adreno 630 you also have micro sd support on here as well as 64 gigs of internal storage and 4 gigs of ram uh, so you do have the 3.5 millimeter jack with uh, the quad deck which is going to be really nice for audio lovers you also have a very loud speaker on here one of the best uh, just sounds really really nice you also have NFC for your mobile payments which is really nice and you also have the fingerprint scanner on the back which is physical works very fast uh, no issues there so the cameras on here are actually really great when you throw Gcam on them uh, it takes the camera game up a whole notch I have a video showing you how to do that you have a 16 megapixel standard and a 16 megapixel ultra wide 4k video and an 8 megapixel selfie camera with 1080p uh, so basically again you throw gcam you will get some very very nice photos very color accurate detail is going to be there all of that stuff is going to be there and i just absolutely love uh, this phone with gcam on it you have a 3000 milliamp battery with 18 watt fast charging with uh, wireless charging as well so uh, this phone if you again if you get it on eBay uh, you're gonna be very pleased with the performance and uh, everything about this phone is just awesome I love it next is the Moto G7 play so this phone is the cheapest on the list at 128 right now and uh, this is a really great phone I love uh, having it uh, you do have a plastic back on here plastic frame of course and uh, it feels fine uh, definitely a little more on the compact side so if you want a phone that is smaller then are you gonna be looking at this you have splash resistant on this phone as well as an IPS display it's a 5.7 inch display 720p 294 for the PPI had no issues with the display you do have a huge notch on this phone uh, but if that doesn't bother you I didn't really have a huge issue with it you really get over it after a while but you have a near stock version of Android on here this phone is upgradable to Android 10 you have the Snapdragon 632 and Adreno 506 again like a medium to low tier chip on here so you can do gaming on here just not gonna be maxing out uh, you do have micro SD support and 32 gigs of storage along with 2 gigs of RAM again that near stock version of Android I found this phone to actually run very smooth so I was really impressed uh, with that uh, so you do have a headphone jack on here of course no nfc uh, is on this guy unfortunately but the fingerprint scanner is on here and it works uh, just fine uh, you only have a single camera on here a 13 megapixel standard you actually get 4k video which is pretty interesting an 8 megapixel selfie camera basically uh, not the best cameras uh, if you're in good lighting you can get a decent photo but uh, anything other than that uh, it kind of struggles with detail and stuff like that out of good lighting so uh, definitely uh, not the best cameras but decent uh, you do have a 3000 milliamp battery and 10 watt charging uh, basically 
the battery life lasted all day for me uh, it was actually really good uh, since it's such a small phone so I had no issues with that I wasn't really running to the charger when I had this phone so this is again is a super solid buy for uh, Motorola fans all right next is the Samsung Galaxy A20s so basically I love this phone because it's got the biggest display on the list now this is again a phone that you're gonna have to go on eBay if you want that uh, $150 and under I think on Amazon it's like 160 six right now of uh, the price does kind of jump up and down sometimes but uh, yeah definitely a really great phone it's again a plastic design on here but it's a big phone it has a 6.5 inch display 720p 264 for the ppi i really enjoyed the display i had no issues with it it's a water drop notch um and it got pretty bright i just had no issues uh with the display here i wish it was 1080p but it looked fine for you know what you're going to be doing on it uh this phone is upgradable to android 10 and one ui 2.0 which is really nice uh you do have the snapdragon 450 and adreno 506 again it's a low to you know mid-tier chip but performance on here was just fine i didn't i wasn't struggling to run uh the one ui software at all on this phone uh, you do have micro sd support and 32 gigs of storage with two gigs of ram which is a little low but again performance didn't suffer that well you're not going to be hardcore multitasking on this phone for sure but you do have the headphone jack still on here this phone does not have nfc unfortunately uh, you do have the physical fingerprint scanner which again works uh, very nicely and you have a 4000 milliamp battery with 15 watt charging uh, again this is a phone that again will last you all day no problem so i did not have an issue with battery life so overall just a really solid option if you want a phone with a pretty big display so those are my picks thanks for watching i will catch you guys in the next one